Hey everybody, it's Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, we appreciate you watching. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel here if you haven't done so already and join almost 8,000 of your closest friends as we get on and talk about sports and uh, do all kinds of fun stuff, share picks, etc., etc. And, of course, don't forget to stop by and check out winnersandwinners.com, the number one site on the Internet for predictive sports analysis. Make sure you stop by doing deep dives on every single game, every single day, winnersandwinners.com. Know it, love it, live it. All right, guys, quick recap of yesterday. We had the run, the Braves on the run line, and they took care of business, smashing the Marlins by a score of two to zip. That's right. We won it by a half a run, but that counts in the record books just like we won it by 10. So congratulations to everybody that backed the steamroller free play of the day. You're out there counting your money after heading back to the window. All right, so taking a look at tonight's, shall we call it uh, NFL action? Uh, actually, well, you know what? After the, after, the, after the Jets debacle last week against the Broncos, anything is an improvement. And we're going to take a look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Chicago Bears. Uh, <laughs> they square off there in Soldier Field. Uh, Bears are the underdog. I believe Tampa is a three and a half point favorite in this one. And I said I believe because that's not the number I'm looking at. I'm looking at the Bears team total here, guys. You know what? I think we already saw this movie once this week already. Um, a sure bet first ballot Hall of Famer with a depleted receiving core. Uh, trying to cover a number that would normally be much higher. Uh, let's go through the list, shall we, of Tom Brady's receivers and their status. Uh, leading receiver, Scotty Miller. That's right. Scotty Miller has more yards than Mike Evans uh, or Chris Godwin. Congratulations. Uh, Scotty Miller, he was uh, limited in practice on Wednesday. First time he practiced all weeks. He looks like he's trending in the right direction. He is still as questionable. He'll probably give it a go with a groin injury. Yikes. Uh, second leading receiver, Mike Evans. Uh, he did it. Did not practice all week. He is questionable, although he's been going every game so far this week, banged up. So, you know what? I wouldn't be stunned to see him. I, I call him I call him a 3-2 to two favorite to go. Uh, the news gets worse. O.J. Howard tied in. Third leading receiver, out. Uh, torn Achilles. Chris Godwin, out. Justin Watson, out. Leonard Fournette, almost out. He's doubtful. And, of course, Shady McCoy is out as well. Uh, the good news? Well, the Bucks defense is still playing lights out. Uh, the Bears, they struggle to run the ball, and they average just 1.8 yards per carry against another stout rushing defense last week into the Indianapolis Colts. 1.8 yards. Yikes. Uh, the Bucks, they are uh, second in the NFL in a rushing yards per game. Uh, the Colts were fourth, so they're even a little better rushing defense, perhaps, than the Indianapolis Colts. So the Bears, they most likely, good news, Bears fans, that they're going to have to turn to their passing game. Woohoo! With uh, Mitch Foles or Nick Trubisky or... Whoever the fuck is going this week. Uh, you know, it's like they say this a lot, in, especially in college. You know, if you have two quarterbacks, you don't really have a quarterback. And no, poor Bears. By the way, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but the Bears um, could have taken uh, Patrick Mahomes in the, uh, the, in, in, in the same draft. They took Mitch Trubisky. They actually took Mitch Trubisky, traded up to take Mitch Trubisky. And <laughs> so anyway, I... I don't know if you knew that or not. <laughs> For those of you that watch the show, you know I remind Bears fans of that every time. Sorry, guys. Uh, you know what? I, I think it's going to be a long night for this Bears offense. I really do. The, the Bears averaged 20.6 points per game uh, in their first three, and they played the Lions, the Falcons, and the Giants. Uh, two of those teams are in the bottom four of points allowed. That's the Lions and the Falcons. Remember, they're in the bottom four points allowed even after playing the Bears. So um, they put up... Uh, 11 against uh, uh, behind Nick Foles against uh, uh, the uh, the Colts last weekend, and I think that's probably a little bit closer to where this one ends up. Uh, I got the Bears 20 and a half as a number. I love that. You know, obviously not as good as 21, but uh, 20 and a half covers a lot of ground. I'll take the Bears team total under 20 and a half. All right, that is the Steamroller free play of the day. You guys can join me. We'll pick up our winning tickets. You know the drill. We will head back to the window. All right, real quick, everybody. By the way, always leave your place in the comment section. Uh, we will judge you. We will judge you is what we will do. You get enough right, we'll, we give, get them right, we'll give the shout out. You get enough right, you will be our capper of the day. And we're about to find out who that is for today. So here we go. Uh, the old T-Train pulled into the station, and he got juiced, juiced. 
Uh, Brandon Lasanga, he is a, a hot capper right now. He loaded up on the Braves. He's all over the place. He had the Braves on the money line, Braves on the run line. He also had the over in that game, a bet that I didn't hate. Uh, but he went goes 2-1 and one on the day. Nice nice job, Brandon. Uh, Kyle Zakowski, Kyle Z, said he has been on a heater lately. Uh, he played the Braves on the uh, um, on the run line here today, and he also played the Houston Astros, um, a play that I also made myself. So he goes one and one, or excuse me, he goes three and one. He also had the uh, the Rays money line and the Rays Yankees over nine. By the way, that was our premium play, the Rays Yankees over nine. So that one came in. Kyle Z goes three and one. Nice job, buddy. Nice job indeed. Uh, Percy Stewart went two and one. Heartbreaker. Uh, he only bet he missed was the Los Angeles Dodgers run line. Of course, they had a three-run lead uh, in the top of the ninth. And uh, Kenley Jansen, as Kenley Jansen is wont to do, uh, came in and puked up uh, two runs. And Kelly then walked the bases loaded. And, of course, uh, Eric Hosmer, as the Royals fans can attest many, many times, uh, disappointed the San Diego Masses and grounded up to second base with the bases loaded and two outs trailing the uh, L.A. Dodgers by just one run after they'd let in two runs. Heartbreaker. Sorry, Percy. You should have gone 3-0, and baby. Or I should have won my stupid in-game plus 384 on the Padres. I digress. Uh, Eric Catherine. Eric had a nice day. Eric went 2-0, and hit the, hit the Oakland uh, Athletic, Oakland Raiders. That's right. Uh, they no longer exist at all. Uh, the Oakland Athletics plus 105, Tampa Bay Rays plus 105. Nice job, brother. 2-0, and that is plus 210 for the day. Eric Catherine, my friend, you are our capper of the day. Congratulations. Congratulations to the rest of you guys that made money, cash some tickets. Let's go out there today and have some fun. And you know what? I hope every single ticket in your pocket turns into cash money back at the window. All right, you guys take care. Have a great day. You know what? This is so fun. I'll fire it up and we'll do it again tomorrow. All right, you guys take care.